Hi, how is everyone doing? This is Ajahn Warud, and I'll be your instructor for Calculus 2 this semester. It's kind of strange having to start a course like this, you know, having to uh, introduce myself without seeing your face or you seeing my face. But, you know, for the time being, your health and also my health come first, right? So let's try to keep the risk as low as possible by staying at home. Hopefully by um, the end of March, the situation will get better and maybe we can get to meet and learn in class again after the midterm exam. All right. So in this video, I'm going to uh, give you an introduction about this course along with the um, necessary information about what you need to know so that you can start this course uh, right and get good grades from this course. So let's go through the slides together. Okay, so this is Calculus 2 for soft, uh, software engineering. So since I didn't teach you Calculus 1, so I'm not sure what kind of scope um, you went through in Calculus 1. So in Calculus 2, since the communication is quite hard to do, don't, um, don't feel um, intimidated by <laughs> contacting me. So if you have any questions and you feel like what I teach to you is very different from what you learned in Calculus 1, let me know by line or by other ways. Uh, email, that's fine too. So let's get started. Once again, my name is Warut Suampan. So you can call me Ajahn Warut, that's fine too. You can call me Ajahn Oat, that's okay as well. So my office hour is ECC 308. It's on the third floor of the big tall white building. For, for those of you who haven't uh, gone to the other side of the campus, so um, it's where the electrical engineering department is located and I usually have um, office hours on Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that's, but that's for when the campus is open. Right now, everything is closed and we stay at home. So if we want to meet, if we want to discuss on something face to face, we can arrange to do that by using um, Google Meet or Zoom if you want to use that. That's fine too. So if you want to do something like that, send me a message. We can arrange that. All right. And my email is w.suampun at gmail.com. You are going to need this to submit your homework or to ask questions. So if you forget this email, you can come back to this slide. It's written right here, right? So let's talk about the lectures. Once again, at the beginning of this semester, all the lectures have to be online. And I choose to use the um, online lessons on YouTube channel. I don't want to go live because this is math. And each person has different pace when it comes to learning. So I decide that what about the lessons is pre-recorded. And you can open and learn it at any time you want. But if you have questions, we have a way to do that. We can arrange a meeting and we can discuss on that. But for lessons, um, let's do the um, offline lessons. All right, and the lessons, the, the videos, I will post that, uh, post them on Monday and Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna try to be on time, like in this class, 10.30. I'm gonna try my best to, uh, to post at 10.30. But at this point, my materials and the tools are not quite ready to, to be punctual like that. So as of now, I cannot give you an exact time on Monday and Wednesday. But if I can manage to do that, I'm going to let you know. Okay, so expect by the end of Monday and Wednesday, you'll get the, the videos for sure. Okay, now about office hours and consultation when you have questions to ask. Once again, we can arrange to meet online, like Google Meet. But you know, when it comes to math, sometimes you have to show me your work, right? So even though we speak face to face, it's kind of hard to send that kind of information to me. So from my experience, when you have questions about math and you have to ask another person online, the best way is to use um, maybe email or line where you can send pictures you know you can capture a photo of your work and you ask questions about what went wrong what goes wrong there and i can point out the the, the mistake that you did okay so 
we have multiple ways to uh, to communicate so don't worry about that and I'm open to that except that you uh, send me messages at midnight I might not be happy about that All right so keep your uh, messages at by 4 p.m. 6 p.m. something like that should be fine okay so about the textbook Oh, by the way, about the online video, each one of them will be about one hour long. And each week we will have two of those. All right. When you study uh, the online lessons, I recommend that you use the, the, um, the slides that I give to you and work along with the, with the uh, online uh, lessons. So um, that's, why, that's how you uh, write down everything I say. I don't want you to skip through the video because it's not going to make any sense in the end except for the um, the examples that you can just look at the solutions but sometimes you need the explanation to really understand what's going on All right. so use the slides along with the video now for the textbook the textbook that we are going to use is Thomas Calculus 14th this is the same book that I used 20 years ago when I was in college it was it, it is a good book so um uh, you might need to uh, try to look this up I am not sure if you use this for for your class uh, software engineering I'm not sure you, uh, you use this one uh, for Cal 1 so I'm not sure if you have this book but if you don't it's fine because the slides I give to you it's going to be quite complete and comprehensive so um, you can stick with the slides and if you feel like you want more um, examples, explanations, you can look this up. But if you can't really find it, you can contact me. I might have some materials that I can give to you uh, personally. So this is the book that we are going to base this course on. All right. So if you want more uh, additional materials, this is where you go. All right. Now about the uh, course management we are going to use the uh, canvas to manage everything I'm going usually I keep all my files slides online videos the link in there so if it's set if it's set up properly by the international office you should be able to go in there and look up all the materials but I'm not going to post everything all at once I'm going to uh, keep one by uh, to post one by one all right so canvas for this course for other uh, subjects I don't know you need to ask your instructor on that subject now in terms of communications oh for canvas you can send me messages too but it's not really responsive not like line where someone sends you a message and it pops up to you uh, on your on your phone so um, we have the line group for this course. So if you have any um, urgent uh, questions or anything that requires immediate attention, you can send me uh, a message through line. And of course, um, from my side, if I need to announce something very quickly, something wrong with my time, I, I might post it on online so that you get it right away. And once again, line, it's quite personal, so avoid use uh, sending messages messages online to me after 9 p.m. That <laughs> is not going to be nice hearing the the pop up sound at night. Okay, now grading. This is important, and you need to know about that because in this course, this might be different from uh, from Cal One. In this course, midterm exam will be 35% uh, of, the of the total score. Now, the final exam is going to be the same score, 35%, which means that 75% uh, 70 of the total grade comes from the exam. All right, so the majority of that comes from the exam. Now, the rest of 30% comes from assignments and online quizzes. I'm thinking about 15 from assignments. It's sort of like homework, <laughs> but um, sometimes homework is not effective because you work together and maybe sometimes you didn't ask each other. You don't ask each other, you just copy. So um, we are going to keep you on track by using online quizzes. And these two things 
are going to come up maybe every other week. Online quizzes should be short and can be done on Canvas. All right, so 70% from the main exams, 30% from uh, supporting points. <laughs> I usually call it supporting because it's like um, these points are gonna help you um, if you are responsible by submitting your homework, all of them, then you, you get most of the assignment points. All right, so sums up that that is 100% of the total grading. Okay, so that's about it for the basic uh, information for this course. If you have more, if you need to um, know more about anything, ask me from uh, through line or email. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the weekly syllabus. All right, and I'm going to talk about what we are going to learn before the midterm. So week one, we are going to start with the, oh, by the way, for each week, I'm going to put the reading references on the right-hand side, which means that for these topics that you learn each week, if you want to know, uh, if you want to get more materials, you can look at these uh, these chapters and sections to, to get more examples. All right, first week, which is this week, we are going to start with the uh, basic stuff. It's like warming up uh, my, ourselves to the to the course. So, um, for the first week, well, before I talk about the first week, I want to tell you one thing about the main difference between Cal 1 and Cal 2. I'm going to talk about the heart, the key point, the main difference. In Cal 1, we work on single variable one variable. In, uh, recall what you learned in Cal 1, finding derivative, finding integrals. You just work on one variable, right? X, Y, or Z, but it ne they never come at the same time. Just one integral sign, just one derivative. That is single variable, and that is Cal 1. For Cal 2, it's going to be multi-variable which means that we are going to deal with more variables, more dimensions, all right? Instead of finding the derivative with respect to one variable, now we are going to deal with more, x, y together, and maybe z too, and maybe more. Integration is time around, maybe not just one. Maybe we have double integrals, we have triple integrals. So that is the main difference, single variable for Cal 1, multi-variable for Cal 2. So in this course, at the beginning, we just need to uh, prepare you to um, for the higher dimension kind of thinking, right? So the basic stuff I was talking about for the first week is um, we are, we are going to start with 3D coordinates, getting you familiarized with the 3D space. So far, we work on plane, right? X and Y on graph, something that you can draw. But in, in this course, Cal 2, sometimes you might need to visualize something in 3D. Boxes, cones, something like that. Spheres. So you need to get familiar with that. And with the, uh, with the space, with, uh, with this 3D space, we are going to have to um, understand the usage of vectors and matrices. As you know, vectors has both uh, magnitude and their direction. So it's going to be something that can be present in the space. And of course, not just the vectors and matrices itself, but the computations that are related to vectors and matrices, like dot products between vectors, right? Cross products between, uh, between vectors multiplications of matrices or any other operators operations of matrices some of you might have might still have that in 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 your head but some of you might have forgotten about that so i include all these necessary things in the first week uh, slide all right that is the first week it's already long right now second week is about parametric equations lines planes and of course, we are going to learn about vector valued functions. 
we learn about functions in Cal 1, but in Cal 1, we learned, if you can recall, fx, right? So it's just one, uh, one, one variable that is associated with that function. But here we are going to deal with function with multivariables. And one way to do that is by using vector valued functions. Okay, and now third week, week three, we start with the functions of several variables. All right, quadratic surfaces, multivariable limits. As you can see here, it's something that we have seen before. Functions, limits, surface, we have seen before. But this time around, we are going to deal with more dimensions. All right. Next, uh, week four, continuity. This is something you have done. And also uh, partial derivative. We did derivatives in Cal 1, but that is normal derivative, one variable to deal with. Partial derivative, we have more variables. Five, week five, tangent planes. Talking about tangent planes, we can think of tangent line, right? When we talk about tangent line, you know what that is. You have a curve, you want to find the slope. At a certain point, you find the tangent line. But in this case, this is tangent planes. So it's going to be higher dimension than the tangent line. But the idea is about the same. Well, in terms of the details, we can go through that later. And for this week, inverse implicit function theorem as well. And after that, uh, week six, we talk about fields, vector fields, and vector calculus operators. All right, we are, we are going to talk about um, divergence, and we are going to talk about curl, and sometime, and we are going to talk about gradient as well. And that's going to help us understand the, um, the dynamics in the space. And once we know about these things, we can learn about extrema and optimization in week 7. So we need week 6 in order to understand week 7. And that is, week 7 is going to be the last uh, week for the, uh, before the final, uh, before the midterm exam. All right. And I think for this uh, class, the midterm exam is scheduled on March 3rd, right? If there is no change, we are going to arrange online exam on this day and on the the specific time that is uh, that is that is posted on the on the website All right but that is still far away I'm gonna let you know anyway don't worry about that okay so that is weekly syllabus before the midterm now the weekly syllabus after the midterm it's a lot of things I'm not going to talk uh, go through all of this right now because it's still far away but if you want to know more, once you look ahead about what you are going to learn in this class, you can look through this, All right? But the key word here is the multivariable. Okay, so that's about it about the, um, the the important things you need to know about this course. All right. So um, since we have time left, I'm going to uh, give you um, the first lecture, and that's going to be the. Uh, the basic stuff and the reviews of the things that you have learned before. And we are going to start with 3D space.